Hi there people, I wanted to take you back to this machine, the Commodore 64, a great system and um, back in the day around 98, 99, uh, you could actually already emulate it. Uh, Vice wasn't present yet but there was a great emulator by Miha and, that's, and that was called uh, C64. S. Uh, yeah, I actually transferred quite a few of my uh, of my uh, of my games, and I just wanted to let you know what um, what uh, emulation in 1993 uh, 1994 was like Commodore 64 emulation. So uh, okay, so here we have the uh, the directory uh, type the 64 doc more so it, it, it just shows you uh, what the layout of the uh, d64 files are i believe this emulator c64s actually uh, laid down the foundations for the um, the various uh, c64 emulation files so this really deserves a tribute so the c64 let's 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 just run it and see what it's all about c64 s so yeah a dos prompt pretty good colors and if you press f9 you go to the option menu and it's uh, you, you press alt alt options and you can see the screen uh, refresh uh, this would actually run on 386 486 computers 486 could run this um, full speed options there's a monitor a joystick tape let's let's load in a tape so uh, let's try let's try speed load cybernoid tape and then load so uh, yeah sound 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 chip sit chip emulation wasn't the best yet and perhaps not all the um, all the interrupts and stuff were emulated but it was a very good emulator uh, but, but the sound is of course not not the same as you uh, expect on a vice for example no infinite lives uh, joystick port 2 and of course we have to go to options uh, joystick joystick port 2 yeah it, it would also support the analog joystick on the PC but um, start game curious what what the second alt alt okay but but this 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 was possible on uh, just a bare bones 486 uh, system uh, some discs turbo sampler Galaga oops Ah, this is the, the easy uh, easy mode Galaga. Press return. One joystick. So, mind you, we were sitting at the computer lab, uh, telnetting and gophering away on the web, on the World Wide Web. And I would go to FTP uh, Funet uh, FTP site in Finland to download some uh, Commodore 64 games so I could play them on my emulator and I think the C64S emulator really was the most advanced system it had a monitor uh, so it, it had a program counter and a monitor so you could you could actually see um, yeah and debug and trace and whatever uh, options uh, let me see um, 
help. So read, help on help, <laughs> read, uh, help, help contents, emulator, desktop, disk, very comprehensive, uh, very comprehensive uh, emulator. And uh, yeah, Mia, Mia Petronel, 1994, great emulator. And uh, yeah, if you are into Commodore 64 and you're into emulation, you really should uh, should have experienced this emulator because this was uh, among the best back in the day. And uh, yeah, kudos. Actually, the. Uh, the website is still there. It's on uh, www.c64s.net. It says it's still alive and there's uh, an alpha version out. Uh, so C64S uh, Windows versions. Uh, there's download versions not available anymore. The scene, there's some, uh, some, some movies and stuff. Oh. C64 for the iPhone. Oh well, this is uh, this is Mia, and uh, yeah, it's um, he's still around. At least the website is still around, and uh, I do hope someday uh, this alpha will materialize and we'll be able to uh, experience uh, what was the greatness of C64s.